Yo, what's up guys, it's Flaxbear here, and I thought it was time for another recording tutorial, since yeah, we only have two of them so far. So yeah, let's get started. This way of recording requires Shadowplay, which I believe is only available to the NVIDIA graphic card users, so I'm sorry for everyone who's got AMD here, this only works for NVIDIA users. I've heard there is something called Raptor, or Rapture, for the AMD people, however I don't really know if that's any good, look it up. To begin with, if you haven't got Shadowplay already installed, you'll have to download NVIDIA GeForce Experience from GeForce.com. Install it, and then launch it. You should see Shadowplay appear in the top right corner. Click it, and obviously if it's turned off, turn it on. First of all, I've got manual mode enabled. This makes me able to start and stop the recordings whenever I want. If you want, you can also read up on what the other modes do, however I think the manual mode is the best one for recording smaller clips. Here are also my quality and audio settings. To change the save location, go back into the GeForce Experience and click Shadow Play up here instead. Scroll all the way down and click the three dots and you'll be able to change to where you save the videos. Here you can also change the key to start and stop the recording. Now I've also updated my movie making config, just so that I can record with Shadow Play. It's basically just the same config as I used when I recorded with Fraps, and you can download the config in the description. And if this is your first time planning on downloading and using a movie making config, I'd recommend you watching this video first. If you want to edit the config yourself, just right click the CFG file and open it with Notepad. Before we get to the recording, make sure you have the console enabled. If you don't have the console enabled, or if you don't even know what the console is, go into your Steam. Right click CSGO, click Properties, set launch options, and then type dash console and OK. Next up, go into the CSGO game settings. Make sure you've enabled the developer console. Now go into the keyboard settings and scroll all the way down and pick a key for you to open up the console. That's it, now you have the console. Now let's get to the recording part. Start up CSGO and exec your movie making config. If you're using my config, you'll be typing exec flax into the console. I'm recording in 1920 by 1080 in full screen. Click Shift plus F2 to open up the demo UI, open up a demo and find where you want to record. Now let me quickly go through the binds you'll be using. The binds for this config are left arrow and up arrow. Up arrow is the recording bind. It will remove the in-game HUD as well as putting the host time scale to 025. This means the video will be recorded at 25% of the normal speed, which later on can be sped up 4 times in an editing software to get the normal speed. Left arrow will basically just reset everything to normal, get the HUD back on as well as putting the speed to normal. Now to start recording, simply press the up arrow and click the key you assigned to start recording. When you feel like you're done recording, press the same key again. For me, this is F9. The video will appear in your save location. Simply take that video, drag it into your editing software and speed it up 4 times to get it to normal speed. The reason why we are recording in such slow speed is to record as many frames as possible. More frames is equal to better and less laggy slow motions. I guess that's pretty much it when it comes to the shadow player recording. Of course, you don't necessarily have to do everything exactly as I do, try experimenting a little bit, see what works out the best for you. But yeah, thank you all for watching guys, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, Twitter as well as Twitch. And if you want to learn how to do these cool looking smooths, don't forget to also check out my camp path smoothing tutorial. I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye.